The Sloan Digital Sky Survey is the name given to a very large collection of images taken with a special telescope. This telescope is located at Apache Point, New Mexico. Like most modern telescopes that are used for research, the SDSS telescope uses large curved mirrors to gather light. This is called the primary mirror. The curve of the primary mirror reflects the light toward a second mirror. This secondary mirror is smaller and is located in front of the primary mirror. It directs light through a hole in the middle of the primary mirror through two lenses that help focus the light more and then onto the camera. The job of the SDSS telescope is to take images of very dim objects over big portions of the sky. To do this, engineers had to design a telescope that is very steady and is able to capture and focus a lot of light. First, remember that we live in a galaxy called the Milky Way. The stars we see in the night sky are all part of this galaxy. Galaxies outside our own Milky Way are one of the main targets of the SDSS. Galaxies are collections of billions of stars. They are so faint and far away that only a few can be seen without a telescope. The SDSS telescope has captured images of over 200 million galaxies. To capture enough light to record these galaxies, engineers design the telescope with a mirror that is 2.5 meters across. Engineers also designed the SDSS telescope to image large parts of the sky at a time so that it would be easier to create maps. We say the telescope has a large field of view. The field of view of the SDSS telescope is the size of 30 full moons. This is very big compared to most research telescopes. Engineers did many things to ensure that the telescope will not move when it is taking pictures. Any movement of the telescope makes the images blurry. One thing they did was to surround the telescope with wind baffles that help keep the air around the mirrors very steady. The images that are recorded by the SDSS camera are stored on computers. Scientists measure many things about each of the objects such as their size, brightness, and color. The images and the information that goes with those images are stored on tables on computers so they are easy to search. This storage system is called a database. The SDSS database is what we will use in all Voyages activities to learn about the universe. So good luck and have fun!